Hey guys, it is NCS Fan 001 here, welcoming you to the road to my Saints Row 4, or Saints Row the 4, whatever you want to call it, Platinum Trophy. This is Platinum Trophy number 103. So, the game is Saints Row the 4th, or Saints Row 4, whatever you want to call it. It's a pretty fun, pretty easy Platinum Trophy for the most part. There really isn't anything too bad about this one compared to Saints Row the 3rd. Because the third game had a fair amount of, like, grindy challenges to it. This game didn't have too much in terms of, like, grinding challenges and such. There was only one or two that you really had to grind out for a long time. And yeah, there were a few other missions like that. But overall, it's really not too difficult, at least. So, that's a good thing. The only real issue with this game is the 4th and 40 trophy, as it's called. I mean, because, I mean, even the 1,200-something collectibles isn't really that bad because you get a collectible detector. <coughs> Excuse me there, guys. But the really tough part of this game is just, even though it's not even tough, it's just there's the 4th and 40 trophy where you have to play the game for 40 hours. Now, that can be done over multiple save files, at least, but you're only going to have to take about, uh, I would say maybe... You're probably only going to be playing for about, like, 30-ish hours, probably, at most, to complete the game and the DLCs. And the last trophy was doing a certain uh, parkour-type thing, as you saw there. This game also has really, really bad trophy delay, I found. Kingpin! Got it! Excellent! We're all done, finally. Took me about three tries to get that. But yeah, the game is, it's pretty easy, but the 4th and 40 trophy is really annoying because it requires you to play for 40 hours, and even with the DLCs, it's going to take you 30 hours to 100% everything. So you're going to have to leave the system idle for about 10 hours, probably. Or you could potentially just start up a new game and play through the game again if you really wanted, and that probably would almost be the better solution because that would be less uh, boring. But overall, it's a pretty easy game. Like I said, I think it's easier overall than Saints Row the Third, even though I don't think it's quite as good of a game as Saints Row Three. But I still enjoyed it, and I am also currently working on the PS4 version, Saints Row Four Reelected. Uh, that version, I'm only at like eight hours through it so far, so I got a long way to go in that. Plus all the other trophies. I mean, I haven't beaten the game or anything yet, so I got a fair way to go in the PS4 version. But that one. It's pretty much the same difficulty. If only it had a cross-save, cross-sync, whatever the heck it's called. That would actually be really, really nice. My internet's been kind of slow recently. Okay, Saints Row 4. Kingpin, that's your Platinum. Zero Saints 30. Uh, these are all story missions, or story-related, which is nice. So a bunch of bronze and even silver for that. Uh, this is one of the three missable trophies in the game because, I mean, you have to complete all the side missions before completing the final mission, which really isn't too difficult, at least. It's just something that you can miss, and, you know, that could screw you over after we start the game. Uh, this is just complete historic, complete everything in the game, uh, complete all the side missions for all of these uh, seven, eight, nine characters. So, yeah, just complete all the side missions. Uh, this one's actually pretty easy. Uh, that one's pretty easy. Then you've got some superpower-based ones. These aren't, like, difficult. They just take a, uh, they might take a little bit of grinding, but they aren't too bad overall. Uh, there's certain places where you can do them better at. This one, 25 kills with each weapon. As long as you remember which ones you've done the kills with, it's not too bad. Oh, crap, I did not mean to do that. No, why would you do that to me, game? Ah, really? I did not think I hit left on the directional pad. Really? But yeah, like I said, guys, it's a fun game. I definitely suggest uh, trying it out. The trophies are very easy. Just the 40-hour one's kind of annoying. All right, so let's go back down since somehow I got kicked out of it. Well, I kicked myself out, apparently. So yeah, superpowers, uh, various weapons. That one's really easy. And then this one is another missable trophy, is that it can be missed because it's glitched, apparently. Basically, you don't want to buy all the superpower upgrades until you have completed the Kenzie Gambit is the name of the mission. 
So just keep that in mind. As long as you wait until then, you should be fine. Uh, none of these are really that difficult, because like I said, the challenges actually aren't too bad in this game. They aren't really that grinding heavy or that boring this time around compared to the other one. The only one that's real bad is you have to kill 25 wardens, or 30 wardens actually, to get one of the challenges. Uh, the whole story, these are all collectible based. That one's pretty easy. Uh, that one's pretty easy. That one's easy. Uh, that one's easy. That one's easy. Because the, the problem with the wardens is there's only about 15 in all of the story missions and side missions in the game and everything in it, so you're going to have to kill about 15 more, and you can only get them if you get up to the maximum uh, alert level. So it just takes a bit of grinding, but it's still not too difficult. Uh, this one is also missable. You have to choose the red door when given the chance instead of the blue door. Uh, find the collectibles. That one's easy. Uh, that one is the last one I got, so jumping from roofs. Uh, this one, 4th and 40, is the one spent 40 hours, but you can just leave the system idle doing that. Ah, uh, that one's easy. Don't worry, it doesn't require an online pass or anything. And now we get to, these are all DLC trophies, so I'm not going to go over those, but the DLCs in this game are very easy. Highly suggest uh, picking them up, because they're very easy to 100%, and they're actually pretty fun. Okay, so I'm actually getting very close to 6,000 trophies. I don't yet know if I'm going to manage to, uh, to hit 6,000 by the end of the summer. I'm close, but I'm still like, you know, 66 off. So we shall see, but level 29, 86%, 5,934 overall trophies, 103 platinums, 516 golds, 1,466 silvers, 3,849 bronzes. So making great progress on that. My next platinum, I don't know if I'm going to get another one before the end of the summer, but I'm working on Saints Row 4 on the PS4, the re-elected version. Still need to do uh, Super Exploding Zoo, still need to do that because that one's apparently really, really easy. And then Duck Dynasty for the PS4 is the latest uh, Gamefly game I've gotten. So we shall see what will happen with all that. I've also been trying to reinstall everything on my PS4 because I recently uh, upgraded my hard drive at the time this is being recorded. So we shall see. So hopefully I'll get another one by the end of the summer. Hopefully I'll get another 60 trophies. If not, I should get them pretty early on into the year. So hope you guys enjoyed the video and see you next time.